Hello, welcome. So my name is Luis Cervantes Oropesa. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University studying computer science. But enough about me. Let's get into this code. So what I'm going to be teaching you guys today is just how to control individual motors for for FTC. So we're going to be using DC motors. We're going to be using DC motors class. So we're going to be doing a lot of that. So I hope you know that all of that is really useful to you guys and try and follow along. I'm going to explain as long as yeah, obviously you need to know how to code. You need to know how to how everything works. Like not everything, but just the basics, what a function is, just like what a variable is, just simple stuff like that. You need to be able to know in order to be able to follow along, or else you're gonna get kind of lost. So let's get started on this. All right. So I already have some code, but it's pretty much empty. So right here, obviously, I import all of my all my stuff that I'm gonna need. Obviously, this is gonna be a tele op. So if it was autonomous, obviously I would put autonomous there because I want to be able to run it on autonomous. And then I create my class, my motor arm, and then I extend RP mode, and then I right here I create my motor, which I call arm, as we can see. So right here, what I need to do is that I need to actually like initialize it. Like right here, I just created it. It's just a variable, a plain variable, but it has nothing in it. So I need to be able to actually look at it and be like, okay, let's actually get it work, get it to work. Let's get it to do what it's supposed to do. All right. So since I named it arm, it's gonna be arm, and then it's equal to hardware map dot get, and then right here. DC motor dot class and then right here so the device name is the device name that we're actually gonna use when we actually like set it up on the phones so on the controller so this right here okay so one thing is on the code but right here whatever I input that's what I'm actually gonna end up naming it like when I actually go to set it up on the actual hardware so this is how it's gonna appear on the phone so I know a, a lot of you guys are using Ambot Java or you guys are still using Android Studios as to have the whole file whichever one is better for you guys it doesn't matter at the end of the day it's the same thing so right here so I'm gonna name it I don't know um, robot arm and that's what it's gonna be named so now I already initialized it so now I already have the hardware setup for it is just like being like, hey, this is how I'm gonna use it, and then that's it. Okay? So now if I go, so me personally, I'm a very I'm a very like functions person. I like to have just everything really simple. So I'm gonna be creating the function uh public. Oh, I can't type today. And then I'm gonna name it, I don't know, um arm code. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now in here, I'm actually going to do it so that like when I press on the controller, it could actually do something because I want to be able to actually just be able to press on it, be able to, okay, now I want it to go forward. I want it to go backwards. I want it to do something. For example, like I could have an arm that just goes like this. Imagine it feels like kind of like an arm. So for example, if I press X on the controller, I want it to go forward. If I press Y, I want it to go back. Because you, know, you don't want to exactly have it timed because if you do, it's like three seconds, okay. And then like three seconds back, but you, you don't always want that. You want to be able to have the control. You want to be able to control all of that. So that's what this code is for. This code is gonna be really short and simple because we don't want to overcomplicate it. We just want to leave it nice, short, and simple. Okay. So, I'm just going to be using on the controller to show you guys. I'm going to be using A to actually just like to release it, like for the arm to go backwards, and then X for the arm to go forward. So, a lot of that's going to be, it's uh, going to be very useful to think about. As well, uh, wait, uh, oh yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I forgot a part, my bad. <laughs> so arm dot, what is it? Set direction. There we go. 
And then so right here, what we do for set direction, what we need to do is like, okay, so as you guys know, the motors, they have obviously a forward and a backwards. And we have a setup like this. If it's with the motor sticking now to the left side, that's going to be forward. If it's sticking out on the right side, that's going to be backwards. I believe so. I might, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. So don't take me out on that. So, however, the concept is still there. Forward, backwards. So, now we need to put DC motor and then direction dot forward. Okay. So, as you guys can see, now we have all of this. Okay, so now it's actually set up, set up. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. But, okay. So now we're going to go to the arm code. So now what I want to be able to do, me personally, I want to be able to press a button. So as I said, I'll be using A to go forward and then I'm going to be using X to go backwards. As you guys know in the speeds, it's the maximum is one. And if you want to go in reverse, you would have to put a negative. Zero, it stops. Okay. So I'm going to put if, what was it called? What was it called? Oh yeah, gamepad. Gamepad one dot x. Okay. So what I'm gonna be doing? Well, let's. Well, you don't actually need to do it like this, but that's the, you could you could just put fx like this. Essentially, what that does is that like if it's pressed, that means it's true. If it isn't, it's just gonna skip over it. Pretty simple, correct? All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put we're gonna do a double, and then we're gonna set it to power arm power. Okay, and then we're gonna set that one to one. Mm, I don't want it to go super fast, so I'm gonna put zero point five. Okay, and then so now so now that's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna go with two. And then, but the however now this one's gonna be the backwards one because I feel like it's just easier to be able to just put in the variable because it removes a lot of the hassle, and that's it. So we're not gonna have these inside here, we're actually just gonna put them in here. So now what we're gonna do is that okay. So now I'll put set, is it set power? No, it's arm dot set. Okay, and okay, so now I'm just gonna put arm power. So now when I press on it, the power is gonna be set to 0 0.5, meaning it's gonna go at 0 0.5. However, now if if I press something else, else if I'm pretty sure, so else if is basically just a specific like else if this else if this, you know, because if I do else, no matter what I do, if that could, if X is impressed, that one's always gonna run, and we don't want that. That's just gonna cause us issues. So we're just gonna do it like that, and then we're gonna do gamepad one dot what was it a. And then instead of just writing again, I'm gonna go up to here. But instead, now I'm gonna do the second one. So now, as we can see right here in this code, what this is gonna do is that okay, it's gonna go into this function and be like, hey, okay, now it's gonna it set us it set our variables up. Now it's gonna go to okay, is the gamepad pressed? Yes. Okay, is the gamepad one x pressed? Yes. Remember. What the one means here, since you're able to use two controllers, if, if you just want to be able to use it with one, okay, for example, if I pre if me, if I'm driver one, if I press it, I want to be able to, for it to go backwards. But if driver two presses it, I want them to be able to go forward, you know? So you have all of these customizations because I know a lot of people just come be like, what does the one mean? And kind of stuff like that. So make sure that, that you understand what that is and how it works. It's just, basically setting up for the two controllers, setting them up and being able to use them both. All right. So we have, we set the power and then it just goes forward else. 
if I press A, it's gonna go backwards. Now, look at this magic. Oh. Now I could literally just do arm, arm code. And now when this runs, all it's gonna do is go into this function and be able to do that. Cause I see it, I've seen a lot of messy code. And I'm and I was that messy code when I was in FTC. I know I know that like we just want to put it all in there, but no, divide it up in functions. It's way easier. <laughs> if all of your stuff is set up on here, like you could literally just access everything. Everything on your functions is no difference. And then when you have an error, for example, if you're like, okay, what well, the the arm is going way too fast, just come here and change it. Go to change it to two. You have, you have access to all of this stuff. So don't just think you're just limited to one thing. So this this was a short little demo to demonstrate you guys that it could be done. So I hope that you guys really liked this video and that you guys enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and to keep on coding because there's so much you could do with code. <laughs> right, thank you for watching.